Chris Ducker, you are so welcome to JSB Talks Digital. Now, I've been talking a lot about you on my podcast, and my listeners know that you and your friend Pat Flynn are the reason that I set up my podcast 75 weeks ago. So first of all, thank you so much for that inspiration at Social Media Marketing World two years ago. You're welcome, and congratulations. It's fantastic. Seven, I mean, that's, that's a lot of episodes, so well done. Thank you. Now, The Apprentice in the UK has just finished and I love watching the show. But did you know I was on The Apprentice in Ireland five years ago and I got to the final um, and it was the year that um, Bill Cullen, the equivalent to Alan Sugar in Ireland, was going to invest in an entrepreneur and in their business. So I came third, I got to the final and he fired me and he said, the reason that you're fired is that Joanne, you can't scale the brand of you. And so when I went to London and I sat through two days of the Youpreneur Summit, I was like smiling to myself going, oh, wow, yes, I can. So tell everybody about the concept um, that you have brought to life and that you've really given it um, legs, I guess, and you call it Youpreneur. Yeah, I mean, Youpreneur is, is, is a term that I've coined, right? To sort of try and remain in people's minds in the memory after they hear me speak or present or whatever the case may be. But honestly, what it really kind of comes down to is the business of you. That's the very core aspect of what being a youpreneur is all about. And really, it, it comes down to basically just building a business based around you, your personality, your experience, your vibe, the way you work, and the people that you want to serve. And, and I truly wholeheartedly believe that not only is the business of you scalable, it totally is because ultimately you're not, you're building a business based on and around you, but not reliant on you. And that's the big difference. That's why I know it's bloody scalable. I've clearly done it myself and I've helped hundreds of thousands of other people do it as well. So it is totally scalable, but what I love about it above and beyond everything else is that if you do it right for the right reasons and for the right people, it future proofs you. And, you know, when you've got things like referendums and ridiculous changes in politics and, you know, all that sort of type of thing that's going on, I mean, the world is a pretty unstable place. If you can control your income, if you can control your very growth as a business owner um, and make yourself ultimately future proof, then you should definitely chase that down. You shouldn't ignore it. And thankfully, you brought a load of people to London in November um, and almost 400 attendees. And you actually brought that concept to life. And it was pretty remarkable. It was the inaugural Youpreneur Summit. Um, In this podcast, I'm sharing my top takeaways from all your great speakers. What was the motivation to host this? Because oftentimes we have to go to the United States and pay a fortune to cross the Atlantic to hear the speakers that you brought to London. Well, that was one of the main reasons why, because I mean, you know, I'm blessed to have a worldwide audience with the time that I've been online creating content and, you know, all that. I'm going back to the UK. I've been living in the Philippines. I'm in the Philippines right now. I've been here 17 years, but me and my family are actually moving back to the UK. We bought a place in Cambridge. It's gorgeous. I'm in love with it. I can't wait to work from it every day. And I just, I wanted to be able to know that there was a really good event in the UK every year that I would want to attend myself. And honestly, I looked around. I spoke at a lot of events in the UK in the last couple of years. I've researched the market extremely in depth and they're kind of not up to scratch, if I'm to be very honest with you. Um, Some of them are better than others, quite frankly, but they weren't at the level that I would want to attend at at an event myself as an attendee. So I thought, screw it, I'll put put one on myself. And that's exactly what I did. (laughs) Now, did I expect to get 400 people, almost 400 people in the first one? No, I did not. In fact, the target was half that. Um, But we were very, very happy with the outcome. It it seemed to me to be a, a runaway success and we can't wait to do it again next year and every year after that. And a lot of the people in the room um, have already been working with you by virtue of the Youpreneur community. And I love Mm -hmm. your spotlight. You say like where nobody gets left behind. And commonly, you know, we've all joined communities, but sometimes we just watch and we don't take part and we don't take what's really important, that action to get us to the next level. What's different about your community that nobody gets left behind? I think honestly, it it comes from the top and then it drips down. So my mentality is that, 
if you're going to show up, right? And that, that goes beyond just paying, right? You can buy something, you can subscribe to something, but whether you show up or not is up to you. There's not much I can do about that really. But if you, if you become a member of the community and you show up regularly, I will make sure that I kick your bottom as much as I need to, uh, to make sure that you achieve your goals. And, and I will, I will then, kind of send that elevator back down as Jack Lemon says and and genuinely make sure that you know my community members my community leaders the people that are closer to me within my inner circle that are in there people that speak on stage and all that sort of type of stuff those people are also going to have that mentality and it's contagious attitudes are genuinely contagious and so i mean one of the biggest compliments that we get inside of the community is is quite frankly there's nothing else. There's nothing else like this. Like this is high level, real adult stuff. You know, it's, it's not your 20 something wannapreneur kind of thing. Like these are genuine entrepreneurs that have real businesses that are making real money, but they're stuck. Maybe they've plateaued, maybe they're struggling and they just need that extra help, support and accountability. And so I really believe you've got, you know, you've got to lead with, with genuine intention. Um, and I know from my own experience of building my own businesses that, Whenever I take action consistently and work towards my goals consistently, I achieve great things. So if I can do it, I'm just a guy from Wimbledon. I'm nobody special. If I can do it, then bloody anyone can do it. You've just got to lead them the way. You know, you've got to show them the way, so to speak. And then you opened your doors to your round table, which is your 2018 mastermind. And you opened yes. those doors briefly and give us a little glimpse at the Upreneur Summit. And um, I had to rush off early and I missed Pat Flynn, sad face. But anyway, um, I followed the- he, he would have only made you cry anyway. He made everybody cry. So <laughs> <laughs> if there's any solace in that. <laughs> and I had laughed the whole way up to that. And There you go. On the plane, I went straight to the third section in your book that we got for free that's not out yet um, on monetization. And you said something and you said, you've got to be seen to sell. And I went, yeah. oh my, oh my, oh my. And it was that moment. And then I went on, I logged on and I applied for your mastermind. And luckily and thankfully, um, and you're going to benefit from me being there too. Um, I, I got into the round table and that starts uh, shortly in a few weeks in January. Uh, tell us a little bit more about that, what I can expect and my fellow masterminders. Yeah, I mean, this is something that honestly I've put off. I mean, I can procrastinate just like the, any other entrepreneur, right? I've put it off for years, quite frankly. I've been focused on building up the Upreneur community and looking at other options with the summit and other bits and pieces that I want to do with that brand. And we will do all those things. But it was actually my business coach um, that, uh, you know, kind of kicked me up the butt a little bit just before the event. And he said to me, you must do it. People are asking for it. You've got to deliver the solution that people are saying they, they have a problem to. You've got, you've got to do it. And so when we launched it, I said, well, I, I only want to make it a small group. I don't want to make it a big group. It's got to be intimate. Everybody has to, by the end of 2018, with a one-year commitment in place, they, by the end of the year, they're going to be family. Like these people are going to be in touch with each other for the rest of their lives. That's my goal. Not just because of business, but because of the relationships that they will form throughout the course of the year with me kind of leading it. Um, but I'm a big believer that, you know, leaders need to follow in order to grow themselves. So when my coach says that to me, if I don't, if I ignore him, then all the more for me, right? So I pressed the button on it and I was astounded by the sheer level of interest. I, I was blown away by it, quite frankly. So it was really hard to pick the 12 people that, that I picked, very hard. It took me twice as long as I thought it would be to select the members of the round table. But, you know, just like King Arthur himself, uh, he, he's now, I've, I've come up with a, with, a good, with a good crew. I feel very, very confident about everybody, including yourself, obviously. I'm really looking forward to it. Now, finally, um, it's nearly the end of the year and people are looking ahead to 2018. And I know myself, sometimes that can create an element of anxiety. You go, sometimes you start from scratch, you're trying to win new business, fill your sales pipeline. Is there one piece of mindset advice that you can give to entrepreneurs to 
make sure that they enjoy the time off at Christmas and they go into 2018 focused and having the right mindset. Yeah, I mean, my, uh, my old mammy used to say this uh, all the time and she's no longer with us now, but I never forget. You know, there's always two or three things that you, your parents say to you over and over and over again when you're a kid and you kind of, you, you whitewash a lot of it away, but there's always a few things that will always stay with you. And this will stay with, with, from my mum. And she used to say, there's no point in worrying about something until there's something to worry about. And so regardless of what you might feel, regardless of what you might be fearing, um, whether it be fear of rejection, fear of uh, losing market share, fear of not being able to price product properly, fear of not understanding your audiences and what they need, fear of Brexit, fear of all these different things that are out there, regardless of what they are, just do yourself a favor and stop worrying about it over Christmas and New Year because nothing's going to happen between now and then that will drastically change your business, period. So just switch off. You deserve the time off. You deserve the mince pies and the single malt and all the other fun stuff that comes out of being with your family and your loved ones over Christmas. And just do that. Just switch off completely and utterly and try to be as disconnected from the online world as you possibly can be. Because, uh, you know, there's not really that much going on other than people showing photos of their bloody Christmas trees anyway, you know? So just switch off, reboot, hit that recharge button a little bit. So thank you, Chris Ducker's mom for that lovely bit of advice that is so- <laughs> Yes, mom. <laughs> all around the world. And thank you so much for joining me on JSB Talks Digital, Chris. It's lovely to have you on. And um, I've mentioned you lots of times, but um, I'm sure my listeners will very much appreciate hearing from you yourself. And I look forward to working with you in 2018. It's going to be a lot of fun and thanks for having me. I appreciate it.